Hello everybody, Chaplain Bob here, Light of the World Ministries, John 8, 12, you know it, you know the drill. This is about the coronavirus. No, not the beer. Uh, I think a lot of this stuff is fear porn. I don't know, could be, maybe it's from God, maybe it's just, you know, fear porn from the government, I don't know. But Psalms 91 has the answer. Now remember, this applies only to true believers, the remnant, his sheep. So let's read Psalms 91. Think about this when you're hearing about the plague of the coronavirus from China. Verse 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. What's pestilence? It's a disease, people. Verse 4. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder. Uh, the adder is a very, very venomous snake from the uh, African region. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. All right, uh, verse 15. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Uh, did you know that verse 11 and 12 were in the New Testament? Oh, yeah. All right, let's go to Matthew chapter 4. Then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted forty days and forty nights, he was afterward and hungered. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. But he, Jesus, but he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Then the devil take him up into the holy city, and setteth him on a pinnacle of the temple, and saith unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down, for it is written. Now listen, Satan's quoting scripture here. We just read this. For it is written, He shall give his angels charge concerning thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. Jesus said unto him, It is written again, 
thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Again the devil taketh him up into an exceeding high mountain, and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world, and the glory of them. Must have paled in comparison compared to where Christ came from, heaven, right? Verse 9, and uh, Satan speaking. And, Sat and saith unto him, All these things will I give thee, if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Then said Jesus unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Then the devil leaveth him, and behold, angels came and ministered unto him. And there you have it, people. A lot of Old Testament stuff in the New Testament. So, But uh, coronavirus, I'm not worried about it. You know, what's the worst thing that happened? Lord, take me. That's about it, I guess. So, uh, you know, maybe maybe we need a plague to wipe out some of the heathens. I don't know. All right. Well, Chaplain Bob, Light of the World Ministries, all blessings, praise, glory, and honor to the Lamb of God, slain before the foundation of the world. In Jesus' name, amen.